Hi, I'm Joshua Zabel, Chief Marketing and Strategic Planning Officer for Minitab. And today, I'm excited to talk to you about predictive analytics, the next step on your analytics journey. What is predictive analytics? How do you use it? Well, predictive analytics is part of an analytics toolkit. Chances are today, you use some form of analytics, whether it be descriptive or diagnostic, and you might even be using predictive analytics. You actually probably are and you don't even know it. But predictive analytics is critical to helping you grow and actually helping your company be more efficient. What is predictive analytics? Well, predictive analytics is really where machine learning meets traditional statistics. We all know what traditional statistics is, whether it's simple stuff like averages, or medians, um, and there's also more advanced statistics we might be familiar with, like regression, which is a form of predictive analytics, um, or other things like t-tests or ANOVA. Even if you're not familiar with those, don't worry about it. Machine learning is a fancy term for understanding data and understanding and learning from that data. Predictive analytics is really where traditional statistics meets machine learning in a way that lets you use it and apply it to your daily life or your daily business tasks. Predictive analytics can be a critical tool in your business. Here's an example of somebody looking at tire life or predicted tire life. If somebody was tasked with what makes a tire wear down or what makes it give up over time, there might be some obvious answers we know about. Things like how long the tire was used or how fast people are driving on it. But we also understand there are other factors like temperature or weather or the weight carried. That's a lot of different factors jumbled into one. And so when asked to put it all together and say what is the most important factor, it's really difficult to say. But with predictive analytics, you can use the data to drive an algorithm which will tell you what is the most important factors and frankly, what other factors that you may think matter actually don't in reality. The beauty of predictive analytics is it can be used in different ways. In the case I just gave you about the tire, predictive analytics can help you understand what's going on. What factors have little influence, what factors have a lot of influence. That means that if you have 12 different ingredients and you're baking a cake and you want to change the way the cake tastes, you got to know what's really going to impact that flavor the most. Predictive analytics can help tell you things you might already know like, hey, if you put more sugar in the cake, it's going to be sweeter. But it might tell you different things like, if you actually put salt in the cake, a little more salt might accentuate the flavor. Predictive analytics can also help you actually make predictions based on the data you have. It can tell you what's actually going to happen. In the case we just gave you about the tire, if you take all that data about the tire and you plug it into a predictive model or an algorithm, it's actually going to tell you how long the tire can live. Well, that's really important for obviously understanding tire life, but it could be understanding anything as far as things like how reliable something is, it can be understanding how long something is going to take to do, um, or frankly, anything that you might want to predict. Now, like anything else, predictive analytics is a series of tools in a toolkit. It's not, there isn't one algorithm or one formula that's going to solve all your problems. Different formulas are used for different purposes. In the example above, you can see different ways of measuring things. A measuring tape is very important around the house, but it's not going to be used for precision engineering. You may not need to understand, in the case of a measuring tape or precision engineering, which tool, but understanding that there are different tools is really all you need to know as far as predictive analytics goes. And the reason why that is, is because understanding, if you're making a prediction today, you may actually not be using the right tools because it's almost impossible for you to understand the breadth of all the tools out there. Let's take in a different example. If you're driving from point A to point B, Imagine you're driving to work. You have directions. You might have a way you go every day. But what happens when the weather changes? 
or there's a traffic jam. Without understanding your different options, you don't really know the fastest way to get to work that day. That's what's important to understand about predictive analytics. You may be doing something one way, and it might be the right way today, but tomorrow things may change, or the next day. And at the speed of business today, and the speed of information, we know things are changing every day. So understanding that predictive analytics is a toolkit, and understanding that you have to use the entire toolkit, is more important than actually understanding which algorithm does what. The good news is, there's something called automated machine learning. Automated machine learning is a fancy way of saying predictive analytics optimized, which is to say you don't need to know which algorithm is best and why. You just need to know which one is the best for this particular instance. So in this case, if you were driving to work, you might use your maps application or some directions to highlight where there's a traffic jam or where there might be inclement weather. All that's doing is taking the different routes that you might take to work, running it through its own algorithm, and saying, this is the best one. Automated machine learning takes the different predictive algorithms and tells you which one is which. The really nice thing about that is, let's go back to your daily life or your daily business. If you're running a process every day, the question you ask yourself is, do you understand all the influences in that process? Do you really truly understand which factors are going to drive the biggest impact on your outcome? If you do, that's great. If you don't, predictive analytics can help you get a better understanding. Once you have that understanding, you want to understand what the outcome might be. And by using automated machine learning, you might be able to tell on a different day what the outcome might be as things change. So as you can see, while predictive analytics is a large subject, the most important takeaway to understand is that you don't have to be a mathematician to use predictive analytics. Predictive analytics can either help you gain a better understanding of what you're doing, it can inform you of something new that you might be trying or experimenting, and it can even help you refine and optimize what you're doing today.